Greetings everyone, my name is Ebu Chulam Uche, I'm a second year medical student here in Tenopio, Ukraine. I just want to say happy Easter celebration to everyone. I bless the Lord for how far he has brought me. I thank him for the fellowship of Christian students, Tenopio, and some other ministers of the gospel here who may have used to impact my life positively. I put together some inspirational words to share. It's kind of short but meaningful. I'm gonna start with this story. On a certain day, a man was passing the elephants. He suddenly stopped, confused by the fact that these huge creatures were being held by such a small rope tied to their front leg. No chains, no cages. It was obvious that the elephants could at any time break away from these bonds, but for some reason they did not. He saw a trainer nearby and asked why these animals just stood there and made no attempt to get away. Well, trainer said, when they are very young and much smaller, we use the same size of to tie them, and at that age is enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never try to break free. The man was amazed. These animals could at any time break free from their bonds. But because they believed they could not, they were stuck right where they were. Now the question is this. Like the elephants, how many of us go through life hanging on to a belief that we cannot do something simply because we failed at it once before? Failure is part of learning. We should never give up the struggle in life. Challenges are what makes life interesting, and overcoming them is what makes life beautiful. Successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others. Unsuccessful people are always asking, what's in it for me? Certain things can catch your eye, but always pursue that which captures your heart. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. Everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. We can easily forgive a child who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy is when men are afraid of the light. Once you choose hope, anything is possible. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. The journey to greatness starts with self-confidence and believing that you can pull through. Don't let anyone talk you out of your dreams and aspirations, not even your parents. Fall seven times and stand up eight. Don't quit no matter what happens. When one door of happiness closes, another opens. But oftentimes, we look so long at a closed door that we do not see the one that has been opened for us. Do not wait for a single moment before starting to improve the world. Life is similar to a boxing game. Defeat is not declared when you fall down. It is declared when you refuse to stand up. Let go of what you are so that you can become who you are destined to be. And the best way to do this is to be open to instructions and corrections from the Word of God. The Bible made it clear to us that things that are impossible with men are possible with God. As you celebrate Easter, try to meditate on the Word of God. Think about Christ's agony on the cross. He died that He might bring hope to you and I. He died that he might put an end to your addictions. He died that he might, he might put an end to your afflictions. He died that he might put an end to your struggles, to your challenges, to the difficulties. How many of you are willing to trust God with your academics, with your finances, with your life, with your purpose for existence? The Bible said, Christ said, it is finished on the cross, and it is indeed finished. He said, as he is, so are we in this world. He has given us the life of God. The DNA of God has been infused into us. He has given us the ability to call for things that be not as though they were. Stop living life as a mediocre Christian. Stop living in self-pity. You can do all things. 
even as you celebrate Easter. Just have that mindset that you can do all things. You can achieve your dreams. And I pray that the Lord will be with you. Thank you very much. I remain blessed.